Hello goons and gals, Doug here with the Born a Goon channel, and I'd like to welcome you with open arms and open throttle to today's video titled, Why Are Dual Sport Riders So Old? Now on that note, before I start, I'd like you to know as an aspiring vlogger who spends not enough time riding a motorcycle and way too much time on a computer, my only goal now in life is to share my love of two wheels to anyone who is willing to listen. So if you'd like to sit around all day long and talk about senseless motorcycling topics, I would love to be your motorcycling pen pal. And you can start doing that by subscribing today. Thank you. <laughs> So the other day while I'm out on my weekly dual sport ride, I stopped alongside of the trail to take a small descanso and enjoy the beautiful southwestern sunrise. When off in the distance, I noticed a huge cloud of dust cresting over the mountaintop. Then out from the dust cloud appears a posse of orange KTMs that start approaching me like a modern day motorcycling cavalry. Once the orange brigade rides to where I'm sitting, the leader of the pack removes his helmet and out appears a head of thinning gray hair. And when the next rider removes his helmet, he doesn't have any hair at all. It's clear that every single one of these guys that are riding are easily in their 60s. Then the leader enthusiastically introduces himself to me as Jimbo and begins to tell the tales of many years that he has ridden the Las Vegas Hills and the many surrounding mesas. He then goes on to tell me how long he's been riding a motorcycle, what kind of work he did before retiring, how he liked my Honda 450 RL, and he thought about buying one of these bikes, but he ultimately ended up choosing a KTM. Then he offered me his number just in case I ever wanted to ride any day of the week. I was more than willing to text him and he would gladly meet me at the trail because he needs an excuse to leave the house daily. After this long, detailed, and quite interesting conversation, I shook each one of the men's hand, even though that's something we don't do anymore, and I scurried on down the trail. Shortly thereafter, I encounter another rider. This one is a very grizzled gray hair man, and he definitely seems to be way older than the other men who I just had a conversation with. And here he is, sitting in the middle of the desert, chilling on a rock, all by himself. And since I look around, I don't happen to see a motorcycle anywhere, I decide to stop and ask him if he's okay or if he needs any help, in which he replies, no, I'm fine. I'm just taking a moment to enjoy the view and the peace of the desert. He then says, hey, let me ask you, how do you like that Honda 450 you've got there? Then over the next 20 minutes, he begins to tell me stories, how he's relatively new to dual sport riding, he's not what he once was athletically when he wore younger man clothes, and on and on and on. But the whole time he's talking to me, under my breath I'm thinking, are you telling me you're a 70 year old rookie dual sport rider? Dude, that's radical. So after that long, detailed, and quite interesting conversation, I continued back down the trail. And I got to thinking, why are all these dudes out here so old? And then I started thinking of all the riders I have met out here on the Las Vegas trails within the last year and a half, and I can only remember maybe two of them that seemed to be under the age of 40. And it got me to thinking, why are dual sport riders so old? And should old riders even be out here? The terrain is very rough and unforgiving. There's no cell phone reception, and it's almost 100 degrees out here in Las Vegas. This is absolute suicide for an old man. Then I quickly catch myself and say, wait a minute. Who are you calling an old man? It's not like you're young anymore either. You just had your 54th birthday. I mean, you're like one or two years away from being on the Just For Men mailing list. What are you doing out here? Are all of us dual sport riders in some kind of denial? Are we in some kind of midlife crisis where we're trying to cling on to anything that reminds us of our youth? Or are we in some kind of sixth sense of motorcycling riders where we're just dead dirt bikers waiting to transition from reality into the afterlife of gold wings and BMW adventure bikes? So the question is, why are we so old and why are we still riding dirt bikes? Now, before I dive deeper into this video, I know that not every dual sport rider out there is old. And when it comes down to it, truthfully, age is just a number. And with the growing social media presence of dual sporting combined with the late model tech dual sports that are being built today, this segment is experiencing incredible growth and more and more young people are entering this form of motorcycling. But having said that, it's still predominantly a middle-aged man's sport. 
So why is this? And why am I one of those stereotypical dual sport riders who transitioned into this sport late after spending most of my riding years on motocross bikes and road racing bikes? So after thinking about this for a while, I came up with a few reasons on why no matter where we seem to start with our riding, at some point if we ride long enough, we somehow end up riding dual sport. Also, real quick before I get into this, when I'm talking about dual sporting, I'm not talking about the hard enduro riders out there. They are mostly young, that's a hardcore sport, and it's just a matter of time anyway before they end up doing some form of dual sporting. But these two sports are different. So I shall begin with the word wisdom. As all of you have heard by now, the saying, with age comes wisdom. And the wisdom is that dual sport bikes are one of the smartest bikes that a rider can own. They're smart because they're extremely versatile and forgivable machines to own. They can take you to places that other motorcycles can only dream about. I mean, you could do a little bit of off-roading here, a little on-road riding here. You can ride fast if you want to, or just kind of chug around if that's what you choose to do. But the thing is, whatever riding impulses that you may have, whatever desires you may grow into, or whatever imagination you have at any given moment to do something on a motorcycle, you can probably achieve that with a dual sport bike. And that's not something you can say about every motorcycle made. Also, dual sport motorcycles are very budget friendly. Even in our post-COVID 9.5% inflationary world, have some of the best value out there. You see, with age comes this appreciation of value in the dollar. And since most of us older people have spent a big majority of our lives getting ripped off in several different ways by several different people, you learn to appreciate value when you see it. Now obviously, some dual sport motorcycles today are very expensive, but then when you see something like the Honda 300L or the Kawasaki KLX 300 that you can buy new for a little over $6,000, as a value conscience old fogey, you can appreciate that because this is a bike that you can ride on any surface that will create years of stories and laughter, a bike that costs pennies to maintain and something that will live longer than a turtle I mean, how can you not like that? Seriously, what a deal. Another thing with dual sport motorcycles is they're not complicated. As you get older, you realize life is flipping complicated and you've had all you can take of complications. Complicated relationships, children, wacko family members, taxes, mortgages, investments, remodeling projects, college funds, weddings, bosses, coworkers, careers, health problems, and the like. And dual sport bikes are simplistic single cylinder motorcycles. No thrill bikes that are as reliable as a country music song about an honest farmer. It is the least complicated motorcycle that anyone can own. And last I would say, they're like a moving storybook. Can any motorcycle out there produce such iconic storytelling content like a dual sport motorcycle? You see, for us, gone are these days of trying to impress someone with our riding skills, our flashy sport bikes, our MX trophies, our 12 o'clock wheelies. We're no longer out there chasing lap times or glory. We're just trying to make it home in one piece. We're now just riding for ourselves, locked in our own world, free for a moment of the stresses and complications that come with day-to-day -day life. We're riding more for the experience of riding a motorcycle and producing a great story that we can tell for many years later. That kind of story where you're sitting next to your buddy many years down the road saying, hey, you remember that time we rode our motorcycles to the Grand Canyon in the rain and then we stopped at that nasty diner and ate that food that made both of us sick? Then while we were going back down the freeway, your luggage melted on your exhaust pipe and then all of your clothes and tools start slinging themselves all over the highway. And then you both look at each other and start to chuckle. I mean, you can't buy stories like that. And again, there's very few motorcycles out there that have that storytelling ability. Because as we have aged, we've made peace with our declining physical skills. We know exactly who we are now and what we want out of life. We've spent so much of that life juggling the needs of others and the limited time that we do have to ride, it's a very precious moment that we savor each time and we wanna make the most of it. But the purpose of this video isn't just to poke a little fun at us old guys, but it's also to reach out to the younger generations and the newer dual sporters because this sport is for everyone. 
And sometimes when we're younger and our lives are moving so fast, we don't slow down enough to stop and smell the roses and enjoy the moment. I know I've been guilty of doing this several times. And there's no better way to build camaraderie and lifelong stories with friends, family members, children, or anyone else you'd like to spend some time with than a good old fashioned dual sport ride. Going back to the conversation I had with the second old man who seemed to be sitting out in the middle of the desert in a rock with a bunch of motorcycling gear on. Towards the end of our conversation, he says, you know what, it's just so beautiful out here. I wish dual sporting was something I would have gotten to a little bit earlier. Then I just looked at him and said, yeah, me too. Me too, man. You have yourselves a good day.